She was feared by everyone at school. They called her Queen Ruthless. But she had a secret that only I knew about. Taru, can I sleep in your bed? Huh? I had a secret that nobody knew about. I'm Toru Nakai. I'm in 11th grade. I was the uh, quiet type in my class. So then! But her, she was a complete opposite of me. <sighs> ah! Miss Kamashiro! Sorry, I didn't know you were here. Uh, excuse us. Yuki Kamashiro. She was the smartest student in class. And she was a top athlete. And to top it all off, she was stunningly beautiful. Also, her family was loaded. She was perfect in every way imaginable. Everyone was afraid of her. They called her Queen Ruthless. Well, that was a close one. We all thought she was gonna kill us. Yeah, I know. It's kinda hot, though. Everyone is so scared of her. But the thing is, there was nothing to be scared about. She was a really nice person. She didn't smile much, so she often gave people the wrong idea, but they had no reason to be scared of her. Yuki was a normal girl. Well, she always stared at people, she wasn't very social, and she rarely smiled, but other than that, she was perfectly normal. Why do I know all this? Well, because we're married. Nobody in school knew about this, and technically we weren't legally married yet, but it was just a matter of time. It was one of those arranged marriage type of thing. So, how did it all happen? Well, my dad and her dad, they became really good friends, and... For some reason, they thought this would be a good idea. When we started high school... Once you graduate, you can get married right away! Here, fill out the paperwork! They even made us sign marriage papers. I thought she'd say no, but she signed the papers without hesitation. And as for me, I've always had a crush on her, so I had no reason to say no. So I knew her pretty well, but the others, they knew nothing about her. Did you hear? Kamashiro took out an entire rival gang by herself? I heard she took out more than a hundred guys. And all they did was look at her the wrong way. She's relentless. She's insane. Don't ever mess with her. People said all kinds of stuff about her, but most of it wasn't true. It wasn't like that. I was just helping a kid who was being bullied, and there were only like ten of them. It's not my fault my parents made me go to martial arts classes when I was little. Anyways, everyone was terrified of her. But back home... I'm home! <laughs> Yuki, what's up? Nothing. I just wanted to hug you. <laughs> so cute. Back home, she was all over me. She was adorable. I'm making some omelet rice. Your favorite. Oh, alright. Thank you. Yuki grabbed my hand and started walking towards the dining room. Yuki's parents bought us this house and we decided to get married. I couldn't believe it at first. They must be loaded. Anyways, even though we were still in high school, we had our own place. She was adorable, and to be honest, I wanted to take our relationship to the next level. But I decided to wait until we were adults. I loved her very much, so I don't want to mess things up. She meant the world to me, and I was willing to do anything for her. So good! You're the best chef in the world! Uh. Huh? You're gonna feed me now? Uh. Say it again. <laughs> it's really good. She's so adorable. Um, what are you doing? What does it look like? Uh... I finished doing the dishes. Now I want to spend time with you. But, uh, I still gotta do my homework. Uh, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Thanks, but it's okay. Why? Uh, because I gotta study and... Uh, look, I appreciate the thought, but I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Yuki? It's like the only thing I'm good at. Huh? You're not cute like the other girls at school. I get good grades and I can play sports. But that's about it. Can't talk to people. I can't smile. Everyone probably hates me. Uh, not true. <laughs> Yuki, you're an amazing person. I know that. Some people just have the wrong idea about you, that's all. But not everyone. Lots of people know you're a good person. You got nothing to worry about, Yuki. Uh, you always do this. Huh? You're so nice to me. Uh, I love you so much. Uh. But I hope I'm not causing you any trouble. Yuki, why would you think that? You mean the world to me. I love you, Yuki. 
Really? Yeah. Toru, come here. What the? I'm not good with words, and I can't smile, but I can still hug you to show you that I love you. Ugh, she was so cute. I loved living with her. But then something happened. One day, I was talking to this other girl in class. Taru, thanks for covering me the other day. I totally forgot that I had to work that day. Oh, that, no worries. You work like four times a week, right? That's impressive. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard now. Aw, oh, thank you, Toro. You're sweet. Hey, I know. Let's go out to lunch this weekend. My treat. It's the least I can do. <laughs> what? Lunch? Yeah. What do you think? <sighs> oh, wait. I got a better idea. I'm home. Yuki, hey. Uh, Need help with anything? I got no homework today, so... No. Huh? I just got some takeout tonight. Oh, okay. Didn't feel like cooking. Is she mad about something? Uh, everything okay? Yeah. Uh, uh... Uh... This is good! I love it! Okay. Uh, hey, can I cook tomorrow? You're always cooking for me, so... No need. Uh... What's the matter, Yuki? What's wrong? Nothing. I know you're busy. You can go out with your friends if you want. What? So she heard me talking to that girl? Yuki, about that. It's fine. I know you have other friends. You're a good person. Everyone likes you. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Uh, but listen! I'm full. Hey! I tried talking to her, but she wasn't in the mood. I was worried, but I decided to give her some space. I gotta talk to her, though. She's got this all wrong. A few hours later. Uh. Huh? Yuki? What the? Taru, if you want, we can call off the marriage. <laughs> Taru, I've been thinking. I don't want to hold you down anymore. You don't have to stay with me if you don't want to. But I love you, so... I don't know. I wanted to tell you that. Uh... Uh, I love you, babe. Good night. Hold on! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You were awake? Yuki. I'm sorry. I was just... <sighs> Don't apologize, it's my fault. Toru. Listen, I love you, Yuki, nobody else. You're the only one for me. <sighs> I love you too, Toru. I'm sorry. That was really immature of me. <laughs> no worries. Come here. We talked for hours after that. She realized this was all a misunderstanding. A few days later. Come on! Kamishiro, over here! <sighs> Coming. We were out with some classmates. The other day when that girl offered to buy me lunch, I asked her to invite her friends too. I thought it would be a good opportunity for Yuki to make some new friends. And it worked! She started making new friends after that. Nobody knew that we lived together, but I guess that can be our little secret. <laughs> Glad everything worked out. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.